hello and welcome back to another interesting tutorial where we'll be drafting a shirt dress pattern kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and ensure to tap the notification bell so that you will get notified once a new video pops up serve as our center front okay but we'll be using three inches to create our bottom allowance so to create the button and buttonhole allowance we're going to measure three inches from this point which will now serve as our center front so we're measuring three inches all the way down from the shoulder line to the hem of this dress Next, we're going to apply all the vertical dimensions and to do this, we'll have to first mark half inch at the top, which is at the top of the shoulder line. Okay, and this half inch is going to serve as our seam allowance while making this pattern. Okay, so I've marked out my half inch seam allowance. Then I'm going to apply my bust point, which is 10.5, that's from the shoulder to the bust point or to the nipple okay so that's 10.5 next i'm going to apply my shoulder to the waistline which is 17 inches okay then the under bust is 14.5 and i'm applying that at this point as well okay Then I'm going to apply my hip, hip line, which is 10 inches from my waistline. It's not the same measurement for everyone, okay? So you have to measure your client, but it falls between 8 inches and 11 inches. So I'm using 10 inch here because the hip line from the shoulder line is 27 inches. And this is 17 inches, so we're adding 10 inches to get our hip line. Then the full length of this dress is 39 inches. Once you've marked all this point, you just connect the dots. Now, we'll also measure the shoulder. The shoulder is 15 inches, so we'll measure half of it. Since our paper is assumed to be a quarter of the whole circumference, so we're going to measure half the shoulder measurement, which is 7.5. Now, we're not going to mark it on this point. We're going to drop the shoulder by one inch to form our shoulder slope. If you've seen my basic bodice pattern, it will clearly show you how these things work, okay? So, you just connect this point to get the shoulder line. Then you connect this point, which is your breast point or your bust line. Okay, so this is our bust line. And this is the under bust. Here's the waist line. This is the hip line. And that's the bottom or the hem. Okay, so this is the bottom of the dress, which is the full length of the dress. So I just mark this as the full length. Then we mark this as the hip line. Then we mark this as the waistline. This is our under bust. And this is the bust line. This is our shoulder line or the shoulder slope. Okay, so now once you're done with all the vertical dimensions, we will now impute our horizontal dimensions. Okay, so and to impute this, we'll start with with our armhole depth. Okay, the armhole depth to determine this, we have to measure our bust circumference divided by four. So, bust circumference is 40 divided by four, that's 10 inches minus 1.5, so that's 8.5 inches, and that would be our armhole depth. So, I've marked that here, and I'm going to link that point up with the shoulder slope. We have to measure and determine the midpoint of this 8.5. So 
So half of 8.5 is 4.2. So I'm going to mark that here. Then we'll come in by 0 0.75 to half our front arm hold in. All these were explained in detail on the basic bodies pattern video I did. If you would like to see that video, I will attach the link to the description of this one. You can kindly go through it after watching this one. It will give you a deep insight into how to draft the basic bodies pattern. And all these things are explained in details on that video, okay? The shirt pattern, the line or the joining of the back and the front bodies usually comes a bit forward compared to a normal ladies blouse okay so and to achieve that we're going to be taking away 1.5 inches from this our shoulder line that's to bring it down a little bit okay so we're going to bring it down by 1.5 inches like so so we'll mark 1.5 inches on this point I hope you understand what I'm doing. So we're taking 1.5 inches away from our original shoulder measurements to create a new shoulder line, okay? And this is because the back shoulder line will be extended forward to the front one. So we're taking away 1.5 inches. So now we're going to replace our half inch seam allowance on the shoulder line. So this will be our new shoulder. By the time we cut the back pattern, you will understand what I just did here, okay? So for now, this is our new shoulder line. And this is the seam allowance. So now we'll apply our bust measurement. Bust circumference divided by four is 40 inches divided by four is 10 inches. So we're going to mark that here and this is our both circumference now the under bust is 36 36 divided by 4 36 divided by 4 is um, 9 inches so we're going to apply 9 inches at this point now on the waistline as well is 9 inches 36 divided by 4 so we're going to apply that at this point now the hip line the hip circumference is 44 inches so if we divide 44 by 4, it's going to give us 11 inches. So we're going to mark that at this point. I hope you're noting that we have not added any seam allowance on this block, okay? So since we've got 11 inches here, we're going to apply the same 11 inches on the bottom here. So that is it. We've applied all the horizontal and vertical dimensions, okay? so. The next thing we're going to do now is to create a curve on the hem of this dress. If you notice on your shirt, you'll see some kind of curve when you're wearing a shirt that curves in from the side to the front of the shirt, okay? So to achieve that, it's very simple. Now, we're going to determine the midpoint for this 11 inches we marked. So we're going to divide 11 inches by two. And that will be 5.5, okay? So that's the midpoint. Now we're going to use this to connect that. So on the front pattern, we're going to go down by 2 inches. Then by the side, by the side of this dress, we're going to come up by 1 inch. Now we'll link these points up to create that lovely curve you usually see on your shirt dress. This is optional, okay? You can actually allow yours to flow through without this curve now i'm using the french curve to connect this just connect this at this point then at the front as well we're going to use a curve to connect that one and it's going to just flow in this direction okay so we have created the lovely curve that you have you can also even make the curve to just flow like so to that point so it depends on the kind of curve you want to achieve so this is just how to curve that out and i hope this is clear now we're going to just link up all the sides
So having done this, our front pattern is ready. You know we've not cut out our front neckline. We're going to be doing this when we've cut the back pattern, okay? So we'll just cut this pattern out and create the back pattern using this. So our front pattern is ready. I have not cut out the 0.75 inches are added to the front armhole okay so by the time i cut the back armhole with this then i will now trim out the front armhole okay i'm just leaving this so that it will guide me while making the front pattern so we're going to fold in this button allowance before placing this on our pattern to draft out the back bodies okay so i'm folding this out my pattern paper for the back pattern so what i'll just do is to place the front pattern on this back one and use it to draft out the back pattern so what we're going to be modifying here is the shoulder line okay like i said the front shoulder line is going to be shorter than the back one so that the back one falls on the front shoulder line okay and to achieve this we have to remember we took away 1.5 inches from the front shoulder line so we're going to replace it while cutting the back one so we'll replace the 1.5 inches we've taken away from the front shoulder line then we'll now add the 1.5 for the back shoulder line okay so 1.5 for the front plus 1.5 for the back that's three inches then we'll now add half inch seam allowance okay so now we'll measure our three inches okay from this shoulder line we we'll measure three inches and mark it okay so that's 1.5 for front and 1.5 for back then we're going to add half inch seam allowance so we'll measure that along this shoulder line three inches and half inch So we'll connect these points to form our back shoulder line as well as the seam allowance for the shoulder line. Then the armhole, we're going to be extending our armhole. Like I said, we're going to be using this main line for our back armhole. Unlike for the front pattern where we came in by 0.75, this one we're going to leave it at the actual place where it's supposed to be okay so but every other thing is going to be the same at the front and the back so we'll just draw up these lines and mark it at this point so we'll just cut this out now Okay, now once you've cut out your front and back armhole, it's time to align the shoulder line. So we'll just align it like so at this point. So now once you've done this, you can now trim out the front armhole. So you're going to trim out the 0 0.75 you added to the front armhole. So that's it. Oh, it's time to cut our neckline okay remember we didn't cut the front neckline so we're going to be cutting it together with the back one our neck circumference is 16 inches so it's 16 inches minus one inch that's 15 so 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so we're going to measure 7.5 on this neckline okay so I took away one inch for from the neck circumference because of our button allowance and button hole allowance, okay? So by the time we now fold out these points and create our buttons and button holes, it will now add up to the neckline and we'll have our perfect neckline. I hope you understand what I mean by that. So we're going to apply our seven inches at this point at the neckline. We'll just use it to create like a kind of curve on the neckline so we're creating it across the front and the back neckline
And we're going to be cutting this out to create our neckline. Now, while cutting this out, you have to be very careful and ensure that you cut just on the top panel. Okay, so I'm not cutting on this back pattern. So I'm cutting only on the front pattern and the the part that lies on the front pattern from the back. Okay, that's just what I'm cutting. Once you make a mistake and cut on the back pattern, you're going to have a bad neckline. Okay, and you don't want that. So please do not make the mistake of cutting both sides. It's a common mistake anyway. Well, you just have to try your best. Even though you, there's a way to correct it, but you don't want to waste all your time correcting something you would have prevented. Okay. So once we've cut out the neckline, we'll just fold out this part, trim out the extra part of the front pattern, and just straighten it out. So the next thing to do now is to add the that. Okay, I usually don't use that on the front of my shirt, of my shirt pattern, but I use at the back. But this is optional. You can add, you can leave it like that without a dart, and it will still fit perfectly. But if you would like a dart, just like I'm adding to mine, you just follow the same principle. And the way to do this is to measure your bust span, which is the nipple to nipple measurement. Okay, so the bust span I'm using here is nine inches. So I'm going to apply half of it here, which is 4.5, just on the back pattern. So I need to apply my bust line, my under bust, my waistline, my hip line, and the full length. Okay. Then I take that off. Sorry, I need to use a black marker to differentiate between the front and the back pattern. So now I'll apply the bust span, which is 4.5 inches. I'm going to apply half of the bust span measurement. That's 4.5. I'm applying it on the bust line, the waistline, the under bust, as well as the hip line. And I'm going to be connecting that with a straight line. So I'm connecting these points with a straight line to create my dart. So I'm going to measure 2 inches above my bust line and 3 inches above my hip line. So that's the point I'm going to make my dart on. So on the waistline, I'm going to measure half inch to the both sides, okay? So now I'll just connect this point. If you see my basic bodies pattern tutorial, all these darts were elaborately explained on that video i will sincerely advise you watch that video if you watch it you will really understand how all these things work out okay so remember the link is on description now that's my dad for the back bodies so having added this that now we need to extend the waistline by one inch that's replacing this that allowance on this side okay so now we are adding one each all round just to replace our dart allowance. Then we'll connect those points. So this is all about the shirt dress pattern. I hope you found this tutorial interesting and helpful. Please like this video if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ensure to tap the notification bell, it's very important. This will notify you each time a new video pops up on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.